Hello everyone, uh, I'm going to be reviewing Brooklyn Nine-Nine Season 1 and 2. Um, I'm finally going to be doing it, because I'm already, because I have, I've, I haven't been doing it uh, recently, watching Brooklyn Nine-Nine, because you know, uh, the 55 TV shows I've already done, uh, two of them, the uh, Middleton and Schwartz and How I Met Your Mother, now I'm on to Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Um, but yeah, let's get started with this review. So it has 22 episodes. The premiere was September 17th, 2013. So Brooklyn nine started in 2013. And the final date, well, the final episode was, of season one was uh, March 25th, 2014. Um, so the main cast we have is Andy Sandberg as Jake Peralta, Stephanie Brutez as Rose Diaz, Terry Crews as Terry Jeffords, Rosa Fumero as Amy Santiago, Jolo, uh, Jolo Tigalio as Charles Boyle, Chelsea Petrie as Gina Lanetti, uh, Andre Brota as Captain Ray Holt, Dirk Blocker as Michael Hitch Hitchcock. Um, let me scroll down. And John McKenna Miller as Norm Scully. Now we've got some guests. We've got quite a lot of guests. Uh, in this show. So we've got Fred Amez, or Amazon, say that? I don't really know how to say his name. Uh, as Melopolis in the pilot. We've got Maru Hina as, as that Vivian Lundy. Um, we've got Kyle Bornham as Teddy Wells. Uh, Pete Noswell as Fire Marshal Bone. Um, Trying to find some big time. Oh, there we go. We've got Adam Sandler. We've got Kid Cuddy. Uh, it's Dustin Whiteman. Oh, it's Kid Cuddy. I didn't even realize. Yeah, so that's like, yeah, the main. And then production filming at CBS Studio Center uh, 4024 Bradford Avenue Studio City, Los Angeles, California, USA. There is no 99th. Uh, Precinct and the NYPD, but executive shots of the show fictional uh, precincting. Oh, really? Precinct. There we go. Are actually on the 78th precinct in Brooklyn, New York. In December, was the first actor to be cast in the series. Uh, creators Dan Gore and Mike Sher pitched the idea to him after he left Saturday Night Live. He participated in the casting process with the other actors, including. Improvised chemistry tests. The character Rosa was originally called Megan before uh, Stephanie Brutez was cast. Chelsea Brutetti uh, also auditioned uh, for the role that would become uh, Rosa. When she didn't, uh, when she didn't get the part as a character, uh, there was one specifically for her. The creators had previously worked with Chelsea as a writer on Parks and uh, Recreation. The character of Terry Jeffords didn't exist during the casting process, but the uh, but was written significantly for Terry Crews. Uh, let, let's give my thoughts about for this season one. Season one was an absolutely blast of a show. I love season one. Uh, it was such a such a surprise by how good I actually enjoyed uh, season one. If you have not seen it. Definitely check it out. It is such a great show. Season 1, fantastic. I love it. But yeah, for my score for Season 1, I'm going to be giving it... Stars. I'm going to be giving it a 4.5 out of 5 stars. Because it is really up there. A percentage, I'm going to be giving it a 90... 94%. Great, I'm going to be giving it an A... A... A minus. And out of 10, I'm going to be giving it... 9.4 out of 10. Um, but yeah, that was season 1. Now on to season 2. Uh, season 2 uh, had the number of episodes of 23. Uh, premiered on September 28th, 2014. And uh, final uh, episode was on May 17th, 2015. Um, so the main cast, I've already said, Amy Sandberg, Jake Peralta, Stephanie Brotez, Rosa Diaz, Terry Crews, Terry Jeffords, Melissa, Mara as Amy Santiago, uh, Joe Lo Trigello as Charles Boyle, Chelsea Perfect as Gina Linetti, 
Andre Brought as Captain Ray Holt, Dirk Block as Michael Hitchcock, and Joel McKinnon Miller as uh, Norm Scully. Now we've got some uh, some big time actors in this one. Craig Robinson as Doug Judy, Ed Helms as Jack Danger, Bradley Whitefoot as Roger Peralta. Um, any other big ones? Nick Kroll as Agent Kendrick. Um, that's probably it that people probably know. Um, Dick Blocker, played by Hitchcock, and John McKinnon Muller, played by Scully, are promoted to series regulars. Uh, that's really good because in, in season one they were not or regulars, but in this one they were, so that's quite good. And the show moved to uh, Saturday no uh, Sunday night instead of Tuesday nights. On M M NBC, is that what it's called? I forgot. Um, so yeah, um, let's just talk about the season for me. Season, what season are we? Season, uh, season two. Season two was a good season. Uh, probably not my favourite season. I did enjoy season one a bit better. But season two was really good. Uh, we got the Mafia involved, which I really liked. Uh, we had the Jimmy Jab Games, which is basically, I'll read the synopsis of that episode of episode three. Uh, the precinct hold a competition while on standby for a motor, motorcade. Holt had another run-in with Deputy Chief uh, one tick. Oh, I really forgot how to say that person's name. Boyle needs to get an incriminating videotape from Hitchcock and Diaz suspects Peralta still has feelings for Santiago. Yeah. So that's what this episode was about. And I... Yeah, that's probably... Uh, that one and... What was the Mafia? Episode 1. I think. Yeah, those two were my favourites. Um, but yeah, that episode one undercover, those two were my favourites from the season. I really, really did enjoy season two. Um, it's a little bit lower uh, for my score for season two, but Brooklyn Nine-Nine is such a great show. Uh, probably my like top ten favourite shows of all time. It's just so good. Uh, but Brooklyn Nine-Nine, season two. I'm going to be giving it oh, for stars. I'm going to be giving it a 4 out of 5 stars percentage. I'm going to be giving it, let's go an 85% grade. I'm going to be giving it 85. Let's go with a B plus. And out of 10, I'm going to be giving it an 8.5 out of 10. Thank you for watching my review for Season 1 and Season 2 for Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Stay tuned to my Season 3 review, whenever that will be. Because uh, I'm only on like Episode 5, I think. I can't remember what episode I'm on. Uh, of season three, but yeah, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to my channel, It'll be a big help. Thanks for watching. Take care. Peace.